like to call the meeting to order uh, for our June 21st, 2016 meeting. I'd like to announce that the meeting is being recorded and videotaped. Um, it doesn't look like we have any members of the public here today. <coughs> so <coughs> I will continue um, with um, with a welcome and introductions. So, Ruth, would you like to start today? Sure. I'm a superintendent member. I'm the secretary. Kate Horton, member. Chris Palamas, member. Latisha Warren, member. City Councilor, Mary Ann LaBarge. Patty Shaughnessy, ADA coordinator. Anna Coyle, chair. And I'd like to welcome Ruth back. It's so good to see you back. We miss you. Thank you. Thank you. It's very good to see you. Um, I do not know. Oh. Is, is Mr. Winston coming today? We'll wait and see, so I wouldn't mark him down for anything. All right. Because he'll come in mm -hmm. 15 or 20 minutes later, depending if he's in court or not. Yeah. So we won't mark anybody absent like that. He's already forewarned us that at some point, right, Patty, that he might be late. Okay. Um, well, on our agenda today, we have um, the commission brochure. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> that's what I had on my agenda. Um, yes, um, so let's see. We were recently given the minutes for the May 17th, 2016 meeting. Um, does anyone have any announcements or comments on the agenda? I, I, would, I would like to suggest, and if necessary, movement that we amend the agenda. Um, I'm very conscious that this is, uh, this is Patty's last day. Mm -hmm. And um, in keeping with, I think, the importance of talking about where the commission is going, mm -hmm. it's important that we take some time to consider where the commission has been during your tenure. Mm -hmm. And so I would like to suggest that, first of all, we do not need to continue the discussion of the crosswalk at Smith College because we basically have taken the information um, that's available on that and that we, we as quickly as possible um, move to a discussion of both the history of the commission during your tenure and where we may be going. That was our concluding point of discussion at the last meeting and it's not reflected in the agenda today. Oh, um, well. So I it's been denied? Oh, no, it hasn't been denied. It's. Um, that was also something that I wanted to talk about. I didn't, um, I didn't add that at the in the agenda at that time because I, <clears throat> I felt that that was something that we would already be talking about today, and that was something that. Um, so, so you, that, that would be you? included in our discussion, um, just in terms of remembrances. Not just in terms of, but I did want to include remembrances of my what the commission has accomplished. So I do agree that um, some time to discuss uh, what we have accomplished in the past and where um, what we would like to accomplish in the future is important. And I also have to say that it is not on the agenda. Chris did email everybody mm -hmm. in regards of us moving on mm -hmm. and talking about the issues that he brought forth at the last meeting, mm -hmm. which is very, very critical. And it, I read his email. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you read that email, if you have email or not. No. No? Okay. No. Oh, man. He did, wait a minute. He did request to Patty, okay, mm -hmm. that this be placed on the agenda. 
Mm -hmm. So I am also supporting what Chris is saying mm -hmm. because I think it is time now to do exactly what he is asking that we move forth on a discussion today of where we're going as far as this committee. I mean, is there any objections to this, Ruth or anybody? No. No, there's not an objection. And um, so I, I did want to mention that to you, Ms. Shaughnessy, that I would like to talk about um, the history of the commission. Um, so I, if you could please add that. Um, to the agenda. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I, I have an amendment to make. I see that in the, uh, the first section of the minutes, the third, looks like the, not the third sentence, the, the actual, uh, the third line of the first paragraph. There is a Y after the word received that should be um, omitted. Should be a B. B in front of it. Exactly. Oh, I can't okay. do that. Just, well, just, okay. And I'll um, up at the top members present, mm -hmm. secretaries after Mary, Councilor Mary Ann LaBarge, and that's because I took Ruth's name out of there. Um, and it would have said secretary, so I took the name out, but not in terms of who was present. You weren't present, you were excused, so I failed to take out secretary. So remove secretary. Right, remove secretary. So it sounds like removing secretary and the uh, members present, and it's received by, and then um, an omission. Well, adding to the agenda, but that's not part of the minutes. It's, it's another addition to the minutes. Then we do that agenda. So I'll make a motion that the minutes be approved as amended. Mm -hmm. I'll second that. Aye. 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 The exact, I just want to mention, forgot to mention the exact time uh, that the meeting started today. So uh, that might want to be added. We started Four short. 405. Thank you very much, Ruth. Thank you. All right. All right. So um, on our agenda today, we have the commission um, brochure to talk about as a Commission today. Um, did um, just really brief. Did anybody get a chance to mark up? No, I didn't. Oh. I can pass this around. It's all hand done and taped, but uh, I'll pass it around and just I'll go through what the pages are. And it would be this size. Mm -hmm. The city seal would be on it, but it doesn't need to be as big as what we see here. Front page just says North you know, our information, dis the Disability Commission address, set it up, web um, site, and then on the inside it would be what a, a, about the commission, um, then Northampton Disability Commission, and more about that, then the Office on Disability, and then on the back it could list um, local, state, and federal resources. So those are my suggestions. and. And you can go where it needs to go. That's a good idea. What I, wow. what I would like to do, because this is Patty's last meeting, mm -hmm. and I think because we have a new director coming in, who also will be the new ADA quarter coordinator to work with us on this, mm -hmm. because she might have, or he might have some ideas that could be included in this. Brochure. I agree. I agree to that. Actually. I I like your idea, Very Sean. Oops, excuse me. Does anybody have any? Does anybody agree with this? Or I concur. Shall we 
stuck in it. Mm. James. Yes. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with the motion to uh, the table further discussion to allow the new ADA uh, for the place. I second yeah. it. Oh, I don't know if we should table it fully until the new ADA coordinator is in place because um, I did want to spend a few moments talking um, about it today, just a few moments, and I do feel that Ms. Shaughnessy's idea to put resources on the back of the brochure is a very good idea, and that should be done. Well, for, for Ruth kept having that meeting after meeting on the agenda, so I felt I should give you something. So I'm sure other people have ideas that can go into it. So it represents this commission. We yeah. appreciate it, Penny, very, very much. And I, and I suggest that the secretary hold on to anything that's submitted mm -hmm. since you started the project. That's what I would suggest, so that you know where things are. I would like to say that um, I like I I I like the intent of the the logo um, um, the statement about being affirmative about <coughs> people of varying uh, abilities. Um, but um, possibly I would like, <clears throat> not possibly, I, I would like us to search further for additional ideas um, to uh, this logo of positive about disabled people. What do you mean by logo? That's the city seal. Not the city seal. On the uh, second page. On the, on the second page. Okay. At the meeting in May, I gave you about four pages of different exactly. disability logos, and that was the one you guys wanted to use. But I can bring back the others again if you want. Oh, oh, I, I, I don't know if you know Ruth, but I never, I never saw them. Oh, okay, they're at the meeting. I'll be up in that next month. Okay, but that's the one that everybody voted on. All right. Making the change is really simple, and there are tons out there. I don't have a problem with it. We looked at it. We saw the others. I don't have a problem with it. Does anybody have a problem with positive about disabled people? No. I think it was good. Chris. No. I don't know. I just I just find I'm it. Sure Are you okay, Patty? Not Patty, but Mary Barge. Jeez. In my wow, own track. Do that. that. Yes. <laughs> In my own track. <laughs> I just think that the. That the wording um, possibly uh, could be changed. Yeah, I, I don't mind I don't the actual. She does the wording on the sign. She does because she doesn't like to say it. Get a different picture. I can't edit that particular picture except make it bigger or smaller. Could you give me a reason about how we voted on positive about disabled people? What is the problem with that? Um, it. I, I never saw the... Oh, you didn't see these at all? I didn't see any. No. I didn't see any of Yes, yes, we do. Now, I don't think because we do not even know yet if we're having a director. So I am saying that we should not have this meeting in July. No, we should not. We are doing our interviewings, mm -hmm. and we do not know yet when it's going to come to a new director. So I suggest that we do not have this meeting in July. Should we wait till September? Ruth, you mentioned about... Yeah, I'll make a motion that we don't meet in July until we have a new ABA coordinator. I second it. And even if she or he does start in August, mm -hmm. We need to make sure that we know exactly she needs to do what she has to do with the senior center mm -hmm. and then talk with her about scheduling meetings. So we know if she's even going to have them on the Tuesday. We don't know that. Mm -hmm. 
It's possible that what what works now is two zeros at five and four. Exactly. Right, and, slightly tweaked. Mm -hmm. and I do have to say, I know Penny, you have it, I think, on the agenda. I think I saw it somewhere about um, interviewing or about a new direction. I saw something that was signed. Well, it's not the on the agenda, it said update on the process. Update on the search committee for the okay, ADA coordinator. Right. Right now on the search committee, I'm only going to go so far with it. Okay. We are interviewing. We have spent two days already. We've also put it back in for advertising to get more. We've had 21 applicants plus another 11. Mm -hmm. And this is something we are not rushing. Okay. And I want to thank the commission for suggesting me, and I have the four questions from this commission that are also being presented in the interviewing process of what we feel, okay, of what we actually looking for for an ADA coordinator as a director of the senior center. So that's as far as I'm going with the search committee. So I would suggest we not have a meeting in July. Also, I would put pending for August. Right now, the senior center, we have another employee leaving. We have Joanne leaving the end of June. We have Patty leaving, what, next week? And we also have Barbara Kaczynski. Kaczynski's leaving in August, who's the secretary. So I'd like to know, how are we going to say that everything is going to be put in place for that new director coming in here? I think we need to be fair with him or her of who we select. Right, I, I agree. This is an important transition period, and that has to be worked through step by step to That's put exactly. all of the, the pieces back in place. And that way, when we have our first meeting, we can tell her exactly what we're looking for, getting out of the box <coughs> and moving in another direction, which I really feel needs to be done. But. How would I want to know when our next meeting is? If I we'll emailed. Ruth will. Yeah, I'll ask. I'm going to amend my, my motion to say no meeting in July and uh, meeting in August will be pending uh, a new ADA coordinator and his or her uh, ability to attend the meeting. I would say I'd be careful with August. Yeah. So I, can I think it's contingent. Yes. It's contingent on, on hiring and availability. So exactly. I think and with that qualification. I think I'm not checking numbers if I want to as well. But, you know, I can let everybody know by email, and I'll call you and make sure you And I will let you know because I'll be working with the new director. We will email everybody. Yeah, to be determined. Because I just feel that very uncomfortable feeling that there should be a meeting in July when we don't have a director. We also don't want to have one right now for August. And we are right now have an assistant director who also is handling, and that's Heather. She's got a load full going on her hands starting as of next week. Yes, um, could you please spell her last name, please? Who? Oh. Heather? Kaling. Oh, it's Heather Kaling. Yes. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, she, thank she's you. She's the uh, interim assistant director. Thank you. So we don't want to catch someone that's very good. I want to. I want to catch someone with that. That will do a good yes. job. You're right. Absolutely, I'm right. Yes, I am. So, am I crossing mine off? Because what's that one? The one about the. That is done. That is done. The crosswalks are done. So the, we're not going to do anything about it? There, there is absolutely nothing that can be done. Patty? Right. Yeah. They can't put a light on it? Well, there is a light right near there. But I, I think the idea is that this has already been um, talked about and they can't put and, and it's beyond the scope of this commission because other people who are qualified have handled the crosswalk and any issues on, on um, 
Elm Street. But it's been foggy and I don't want to get hit by a car. That's why they need okay. to Okay. We have gone through this at our last meeting. It was settled. There right. was concerns of the commission. Okay. Right. That. We understand what occurred, but no. Everything is in place that should be in place there. You did say how it was dark, dark out there and foggy. Okay, so I think we've done what we had to do. We researched. All right. Okay. We will be talking talking about it at future meetings. Um, so do rest assured that um, we will talk about why? it again. Why? Could I ask why? Um, um, why? Well, I, because there are I, no, no, no new facts. We've looked at the crosswalk. The design of it is, it's, it's well designed. It's an appropriate crosswalk. This commission cannot move forward if we keep redoing discussions absent new considerations or new facts being presented. I disagree. I think that that is how um, changes are made in this city. And um, better lighting at that crosswalk is a necessity to help prevent further accidents or incidents of injury. And I feel that the lighting is important. And that is something that I would like to work on and write a letter to the uh, Department of Transportation and uh, Parking um, and any other needed people to help um, to help <coughs> make sure. I, I, well, I, make, a, to I make a motion make that, sure the that lighting is the put there. Walk be tabled. The, the, the time is passing. And oh, I understand that. Do. I'm saying this will be in, at future discussion future discussions uh, in the fall. Ruth? I would like to make a motion that this subject be dismissed. We've looked at it, we've researched it, I took pictures. There's street light right at the crosswalk. Mm -hmm. There's lights on either side and pedestrian signs. There's nothing else that can do. Um, we've done everything we can on it, and the suggestion made by Mr. Plan is that we will get all the crosswalks in the city to fold this right in with that. So, Instead of taking each one individually, we've got the big That's project. True. We'll just include it in that, and that will cover it. It'll be in there. We'll get looked at with all the other crosswalks, mm -hmm. and it won't tie us up just on. Right. Like we always seem to do one thing at a time I know. instead of everything. So I made a motion, and I'll second that motion. Okay. Uh, I, I, I. Okay. Um, so um, today, uh, recently, I received a new letter um, from the architect from from uh, the uh, Mass <coughs> DOT from the actually from the Architectural Access Board, and um, so I would like to share that with you today as we continue our discussion um, from the original letter we received uh, from the from the Massachusetts. Architectural you have a happy for us? Um, yes. Oh, the new letter, no. The new letter, no. There is not a new copy. I, I have a copy that um, I can share with you. Yeah. Um, so, let's see. Um, Do we have one more? No. No, okay. As you know, from the, from the past letter, um, the the um, um, the mass DOT wanted to increase the length of the platform from 46 feet to 120 feet, and um, they wanted to use the funding already invested and save the year of construction time, and um, they also put in a request for. Um, the, uh, for more funding, um, but the funding was not yet at, uh, committed as of March 3rd, 2016. Um, so they needed, um, <clears throat> but the new letter that was received on May 18th, 2016. Um, Patty, excuse me, we don't have this letter, Patty? No, that letter was sent directly to him. Mm -hmm. Was her name was on that envelope? 
as the a as the um, chair of the commission and it's not sent to you no it's sent to the chair many things are sent to the chair Wow. Some things, some things, I know exactly. I think it is things like this should be sent to the ADA coordinator also, and not just the chair. That's what we have an ADA coordinator for, and also given to every commission before we have a meeting so we can look at it. I agree. Yeah, you never got to the party, you could have scanned it and emailed it around. Exactly. Well, if I had it, yeah. You're right. Yeah, I would have opened it for mail. No, of course not. No, yeah. but if it. But you're right. We, I could have made copies. Right. Yeah. Oh, so wow. that's a good um, suggestion for the future. Thank you. So. Um, could I, as a point of clarification, mm -hmm. the original letter was a copy of a letter to Tom Hopkins, the director of the Access Board, from Mass. DOT. Yes. And the critical paragraph is on the second page of the copy I have. Accordingly, Mass DOT now Perfect. comes before the board to request that the board amend its amended decision and grant approval. They're basically asking the architectural access board to amend the previous decision to allow um, construction as a series of increments of 45 foot high long platforms. This is a pretty complicated technical issue. If we are gonna suspend meetings of the commission, I would suggest that um, I would be willing to do it, calling the access board and see if they are anticipating having either a hearing or an advisory opinion on this request from the from the mass DOT. If I may speak? Yes. Um, the new letter states that they did have a hearing. They did. And um, so um, there was a member of the, Ma um, the MBTA and a member of the mass DOT um, that, and they went to a hearing, they attended a hearing on March 7th, 2016. And um, <clears throat> they want to affirm that the new station with the improved uh, platforms um, will ensure access to all passengers um, and to all coaches of the train. And um, that every passenger will be able to access the train and um, and that they will make various stops as well. That the um, that the train uh, the trains will make various stops for passengers. Um, so um, let's see. What I wanted to share with you from this letter today is um, oh uh, that the new letter in their new letter they are asking. Um, they were, they are asking for more time to construct the um, to create the the length of the platform to increase the length of the platform to from two doors to three doors um, per per uh, per train. Not only the two doors to three doors per train but um, to increase the length of the platform from 46 feet to 120 feet. This does take time, and they did ask for an extension. Um, Where are you finding that page? It's not on the This is a new letter. This is a new letter. It's not on that one. Um, they're asking for more time to create this platform because of as, uh, as of right now, as of as of May 18th, 2016, the only access onto the train is by a ramp. But I need to stop this right now, please. Is there any way, Patty, that you could copy these so the commission could have and were able to look at it? Well, yeah, I'm very uncomfortable not having information in front of us. That's true, and I agree to that, too. Well, 
I can make copies, but I'll be gone from this meeting. Pardon? I said if I go and make copies, I'll be gone from the meeting. Well, we can do. I just think it's yeah. not fair here. Well, I'm, I'm happy to. Um, uh, I'm happy to share the letter with you if, if, if you would like. Or is it something that does it need to be discussed today? If it, if it doesn't, then there'll be time to distribute at another meeting. Is exactly. that sensitive or not? It's, it, there's only actually one other important piece of information, a couple of, one other important piece of information. Um, I, you know, I am competent to relay the information to you all. I understand that you would, you would like a copy um, to read through the material. So we can all advocate for ourselves as individuals. And it's very nice having I, something. I, I think the question is, has the access board made a ruling on a hearing, or is the letter requesting an action from the access board at a future hearing? Mm -hmm. That's our question. Exactly. I can't make a motion, but here's what I'd like to offer. If, I, if, 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 and somebody can make the motion, but here's what I'm saying is, um, it sounds like Mr. Palamas would be willing to pursue this as an action item for the commission that the, um, let you, you already have, everybody already has a copy of this uh, first letter, letters that went out, mm -hmm. um, and those were given to um, I sent those to everybody through the mail, but the second letter, I mean, I can make copies and get those to everybody as well, but if, if and I could be wrong interpreting what you had said, um, Chris, that you would be interested in mm -hmm. taking hold of this as an action item. Yeah, if the access board is going to have a hearing, then we may want to uh, register an opinion and talk with the director. Sure. If they've already acted, then, then that point is... So, so they have issue. something you can pursue. They have. They have already had a hearing. It was on March 7, 2016. And uh, the results of that hearing were that, as I already stated, that uh, they need more time to, um, to construct the um, the three-door train perhaps the three-door train access instead of the two-door access and increase the uh the length of the platforms from 46 feet to 120 feet and um the other important item in the letter is that could, could i ask the other me, important who's excuse the letter me, from from the architectural access Board. It's from the Architectural Access Board. Yes. So have they granted additional time? They, they, uh... You're describing the request from Mass DOT. Has the Access Board ruled? <coughs> they... This is why letters like this no, can't I, be processed at a meeting. No, no. They have to it, be distributed. Excuse me. Excuse me. This is a decision. It's a final decision of the board. It's a final decision of the board. You're, you're not letting me get up the importance and sentences for the meeting. And I need a moment to do that so please be patient so this is a <clears throat> this is a final decision of the board that was received on may 18 2016 and as i was saying as i was saying <clears throat> this the second important piece of information is that um the mass dot needs to put a fire hazard analysis um, together um, um, because of the nature of the the previous uh, material that the nature of the material uh, that the platform is made out of which is timber um, 
So they need to go through uh, a fire hazard analysis and an overall uh, fire hazard and uh, safety for uh, this particular venue for the citizens. And that analysis has to be submitted to the Architectural Access Board with, um, let's see, what, what was it? With, <coughs> excuse me, one moment. Um, oh, it has to be uh, submitted to the, um, the report has to be submitted um, along with the state building inspectors and the uh, report has to be received within 30 days of the receipt of the decision of the architectural access board. And, and that is all. Then I would like to make a motion that the commission communicate with the Architectural Access Board mm -hmm. and express our concern that construction of wood is not only potentially a fire hazard, but requires continual maintenance, which is historically something that the Mass DOT does not effectively pursue and that we are specifically concerned that the wood construction is both going to work in ways that are not going to be compliant with the standards of the access board and that it may also be a fire hazard i would love to um, um excuse me this this letter does already address that concern very well and um that is why they are asking for a fire hazard analysis um, to be submitted to the board. I would still like to have this commission communicate with the Architectural Access Board and add our voice to those concerns. Is this something you do? Are you willing? Are you interested? Absolutely. Okay. I, I agree with that. I think Chris, yeah. we should let him move on. And um, can I can I ask you why why do you why do you challenge this particular letter? I sat on the architectural access board for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. I've attended meetings. I've supported rate waiver requests, and I have opposed waiver requests. The access board's decision making is not necessarily consistent. And that's why the communication to the local communities is significant. Um, you can have at the next meeting uh, a different membership in attendance than it was at the previous meeting. And so we ought to reinforce the message that we are concerned. And I would say not only fire hazard, that's very significant, but the fact of the matter is, if you go out and look at wood ramps and wood platforms across the Commonwealth, it is extraordinary if they are maintained for any period of time. It's simply not done. That's why you want durable materials. You want, you want the most durable materials so it lasts. So, Chris, question, what type of material are you actually looking at? Oh, it's concrete. Concrete pour okay. for the for the ramp for the yes. platform. Right. You know, you may have some timber in the structure, um, but but not for the Counting for the, the platform. Long time. I agree with that. Actually. Mm. Yeah. 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 Um, I would just like to say that I understand why this this letter was written and submitted and I do I it's fine it I think it's you know I, I just think as of this time that they are probably not going to change their minds in the use of 
in the use of the material that they have been using because they've been working on this project since December of 2014. I should be aware of Right. I, un I understand that timber is a fire hazard, a fire hazard and um, because of this letter, um, so, I, um, so does the mass DOT. They understand that as well. Um, wow. You're welcome to, to write a letter if you would like. Um, I do feel that concrete is a more fire safe, uh, fire safe material. Um, you're welcome to you state that. To the commission, you mean a motion to the commission to write a letter, and it's been set, and it's not have to go to the board of groups. I am just stating my feelings before we Can I explain the, the access I, board works in a somewhat different way? Mm -hmm. You can simply call the director of the access board, mm -hmm. Mr. Hopkins, mm -hmm. and say, hey, Tom, I understand you have had a request and from what it sounds, you've made a request for a fire safety analysis, which indicates that a final decision has not yet been made by the board. We would like to express our concerns, one, both about fire safety and the durability of the materials so that they stay in conformance with the basic requirements of the access board that avoids tripping hazards, it avoids the splintering of materials, and it avoids other consequences of going cheap with lumber. Mass DOT is going cheap. That's well, what's happened. I also think that there are, there is, uh, there are fire-treated um, timber available to use, fire-resistant timber that um, is available to use. Um, they might have that available. Um, so, as I was saying, um, as a commission, we are we are welcome to write a letter. That is what we are here to do, is to express our voice in um, to to the to certain agencies, um, such as this one, if need be. Um, so. I, I would like to make a motion. I think that motion to be has started that motion to be second. Right. So we need to move on. We need to make Chris, a motion. That's that has Chris made a motion. I right. second. 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 And now we need to all vote for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I agree a hundred percent because if we can go into the concrete, that would be excellent. I Chris is willing to go ahead. He's been on that commission mm -hmm. on that committee. So let's go ahead and write a letter and let's get a response back. No, I'd like well, I to say what I want to do letter. is to call the director. Right. To invest to. Uh, 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 all in favor? Aye. 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 Let's do a roll call vote. I want a roll call vote. Aye. Could you explain? Uh, root, root, Why do you have to do yeah, with a roll call vote? Roll call. Could you as the names have to be mentioned every person okay so just look at your paper i have to know i how to get my robert scores so. uh -huh. <laughs> okay so, so that way it's a definite vote yes it is okay so you need to do a roll call like you can start with you ruth mcgrath and they say yes or no I'm not, I'm not arguing about the cost of energy and okay. we, gotta, we gotta do this. I gotta get to a meeting with the five. Right. Thank you. So, start with me? Yeah, so Yes. Gay, yes. 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 And I'm not a voting member, but I am a yes. Thank you. So if I could then just add that um, letters will be coming to the commission as they have been, and um, and it's to inform the commission about things that are happening regarding various ADA requests, um, mostly uh, a lot of times for variances to what somebody uh, doesn't 
necessarily want to do that is appropriate for ADA access. Um, and so the responsibility of the commission is to respond to those. Just wanted to add that. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's why it's so valuable when a chair gets information, even though you don't have a computer, is to come down here and get that information of Patty. Mm -hmm. So every one of us have the access of the language of that letter. Mm -hmm. And we can talk about it at the meeting. Going back in the minutes, we actually voted on that in April yep. and said that any communications that came to anybody on, this, on the commission should be submitted to everybody on the exactly. commission before the meeting. Exactly. I was just very uncomfortable not having information and not seeing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. I think that, thank you. So, Anna, if thank I could have that letter so that yes. more people leave, I can make it happy. Yes. And then I'll give you back to your original. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lucy. And I also would like to make a suggestion from now on any kind of information that comes mm -hmm. to the commission, that it goes to the chair and it goes to the ADA, who we will all have copies. Yeah. Yes. That's keeping the transparency and the communication flowing. Yes, and that's very important. Yes, it is. So. All right, thank you. Um, thank you. <coughs> um, all right. The next item on our agenda today is um, the update on the search. Oh, yes, yes we did that already. That, yeah. So um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, next is um, the elections and recruiting of new members. Um, I would like to invite every member of the commission uh, to tell their friends or ask their friends, any friends, ask. Um, their friends um, to submit an application to um, to the commission um, by going to uh, north northhampton uh, mass dot gov backslash volunteer um, and also um, please invite them to a meeting if they are interested as well um, if they would like to listen in on uh, the possible agenda topics that we discuss um, so they become familiar with our commission. We have um, Hannah coming up on City Council on this Thursday being approved by City Council. Mm -hmm. It was, we get a recommendation. Mm -hmm. Not Hannah, I'm sorry. Judy. I mean, Judy. Judy. Okay. Um, Hannah's coming up this week because we have not approved her yet. Judith is coming up in July. She now is coming to City Council Thursday night with a recommendation coming to appointments. And we will send that recommendation Tuesday night so she will be recommended by City Council. We only need one more position and we do have apparently some people who might have some interest. Chris knows somebody who might have some interest also. All right. Yeah, we, we know a person, long-term uh, resident of Northampton, um, who has direct personal experience and multiple family members who have a wide range of disabilities, uh, in, including a family member who is, uh, well, from mobility, deafness, uh, psychiatric disability, a full range of represented in family and someone with uh, advocacy experience and well retired and that's what we want so we, we will okay. encourage him to so Pam had asked for a copy of the uh, bylaws which I'm going to say everybody should have had a copy already I have them. but I made more copies of that. they're over there if anybody wants them so here they are look who's here oh, hello oh, hi. Hi. Oh, Lord. 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 I was invited by Hannah to come and say goodbye to Patty. Oh. Hi, Tori. Hi. I'll see you tonight, oh, right, Tori? Yeah. Hi, Tori. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Good. Hi, Tori. 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 Hi,
Okay. Nice seeing you again, Tori. Nice seeing you too. I, I heard there was going to be, you know, saying goodbye to Patty. So. Yes. Yeah, probably. So. Still in meeting mode. Okay. Okay, so we're going to end this. Um, the only, the only, um, there's one other item that I'd like to mention Bye. that um, in September, we will be forming a norm uh, nominating committee for elections. So elections are supposed to be held in September. Um, I thought that they were in October. October. It's October. October. I'll have to check that out. Because I think that question came up at the last meeting, and I sent everybody an email to say. I think because when I called the office, I thought. Oh, it's, it's right in there. Yeah, so what we'll do is we don't form a nominating committee. What we do is we bring it on the floor who we're gonna who would like to be oh. nominated. Oh well just bring it yeah. I understand that as well. So <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank it's you. October meeting. October. Yeah. And no yes. fundraising is allowed. Right. That's true. <laughs> no signs. That's right. It's like Donald Trump. Who want to talk about elections? Just talking about Yes. Yeah. We're talking about. Yeah. I don't. Dummy ass people that I know who want to join. <coughs> yes. There's yes. A, one open. Has he put out an application? One open position. One more. One. So we need to get him to get it in the room. Um, oh, yes. Um, yes, if there's time to mention. Um, no, actually, there's one more item. Um, I did receive yet another letter um, from uh, the director of the Architectural Access Board about a new business um, that is being um, created and built um, on 40 Center Street um, named Everyday Mindfulness. And um, there was a, a request for variance that was filed by um, a, a doc, uh, someone who has a doctorate degree. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it looks like um, be, in part because of the uh, assessed value of the building in relation to how much money that they are spending on um, investing in to the business which is actually more than the assessed value of the building by sixty eight thousand um, dollars and also um, not and also um, but the um, the business needs to be in full compliance um, every all public spaces of the building need to be in full compliance um, and um, they, um, the business needs to put forth a report of <coughs> the cost of materials and any um, any. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you? Did I? There's a new. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. There's a new yeah, business on Center either. Street that's being built that has already been built, and there's Where? still. It's 40 Center Street. 40. What does that have to do with? Um, the okay. architectural act. Um, the owner of the business, um, or someone that is going to be working in one of the spaces of that business, uh -huh. uh, put in a request um, to make sure that um, to make sure that all. Not, they put in a request for um, to the architectural access board um, because it looks like their spending budget is going to be more than the actual uh, assessed value of the land, and the architectural access board uh, wants them to comply with um, all all. Um, wants them to comply. Um, could, could I ask I, if you'd refer the letter to me? There's a rule within the access board mm -hmm. called the 30% rule. Mm -hmm. 
if the expenditure for modifications exceeds 30% of the equalized assessed value of the building, mm -hmm. modifications are required to come up to a new construction standard of accessibility. It's, a, again, a very problematic rule. So, um, again, I would be happy to, to look at that and get a clarification. It's a pending action of the board. The 30% rule is very problematic because it can be very burdensome to some small businesses mm -hmm. and not and not others so right and this this particular business i mean they need to make sure that um their restrooms are in compliance with the needs of of all of the people that are going to be with the individuals that are going to be attending the business uh, the stairs and the handrails uh the restrooms um and uh, doorways as well so um, <clears throat> this is this is um, a notice of action by the director of the architectural the chairperson excuse me of the architectural access board and um, so and they did they did uh, the architectural access board did submit one of the forms that they um, that they sometimes include with their uh, notices of action, which is an adjudicatory hearing uh, letter. And um, so if anyone does have a complaint about um, the business, they are, they are, um, they are open to receiving complaints within um, 30 days of this notice of action, which was June 10th, 2016. Did, did that letter come with this? Or were these two separate mailings? Separate. They were separate. Yeah. Yes, I, I had just received this recently. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. so they, um, the Architectural Access Board chose to deny um, their request for variance. Um, um, which initially sounds like a request um, for their um, desire to go over budget in creating a business. But um, as you know, and I know I've worked on architectural assets for letters in the past, um, the, um, all businesses need to be in compliance um, with accessibility standards for individuals. So um, this is something that should be <laughs> further investigated by our commission. So. Okay, good. So I'll make a copy of this for everybody and get it to everybody and get you the original back. Thank you. Are you taking the lead on that one? Or? Uh, I'm pleased to. I think it's probably the issue of the 30% rule, where they they would have to do the basic accessibility features and and the extent to which work is carried out complied with the access board. The question, I think, is probably whether they have to bring all and everything up to a new construction standard of accessibility. That's the one that really um, knocks um, some businesses and some development projects for a loop. Yeah. yeah, I'm just going to add too that this um, typically is also sent to the building inspector mm -hmm. and um, our local, which would be Stavros, um, would get a copy as well and the local disability commission. So. All right, well thank you so much everyone for, for being in attendance today. Um, and. Um, I wanted to mention that we have our well-loved visitor here today, uh, Tori Eklund and her husband. Um, I'm so glad you could attend today. Uh, we wanted to spend a few moments talking with Ms. Shaughnessy and thanking her for all her, all her wonderful, um, kind years of service and all her efforts. Thank you for your efforts and care and concern. Um, so we really appreciate it, and I just wanted to spend a few moments talking today as well 
about um, the history of uh, what we have accomplished as a commission. Um, so if anyone would like to take a few moments to, to share a remember, remembrance of um, something that the commission has accomplished, uh, please feel free to do so. so could I just ask how long have you been doing this, Pat? Uh, I was appointed the director, which automatically makes you the ADA coordinator um, since uh, September 10th, 2001. Mm -hmm. So I wow. have worked with um, a number of chairs, Michael Navy, um, Tori Eplin, and now Hannah. I've worked with, on um, the commission, we've had liaisons from the city council, um, Bill Dwight, Marilyn Richards, and um, Councilor Labarge, who has, I believe, been the longest serving counselor um, and have gone from being a um, commission on disabilities to a disability commission. Um, and with um, Councilor Labarge, and at that time, Councilor Tacey was how handicapped parking fines came to be under the um, guidance of uh, this commission. And uh, I think a lot of things have been accomplished by the commission over a period of time. If anything, I think that there's like a sort of rolling along um, that I like to get things done uh, moving forward. And I, I, I just say to a lot of people when you work in government, it uh, doesn't matter if it's local, state, or federal, you have to have patience um, because it's like an endurance test. Mm -hmm. Hold on, have I been you? I have to say, pressure bring you on the commission that there was hardly no one no one at all in this committee that's true it was a committee how much did we have patty about three hundred dollars and then nothing oh, yeah we have a three hundred dollars um, was our budget so yeah. another counselor and i did our research and we were able to go ahead and work with the city work with the mayor work with the finance director and we accomplished doing an ordinance. We had to change from being a committee to a commission, which was fine. We now, I think the first amount that we had was $11,000 in our account. Never had that kind of money, ever, ever. And if it wasn't for us two counselors doing that, there would not have been one. Then I have to say, thank goodness for Tori. She brought up about the braille and large print along with Susan. And me. Yep. Large print menus. Yep. And we worked tirelessly on that. We wouldn't give up, right, Tori? We right. went for a whole year, right, Patty? Patty and I went to restaurants together, and we have the braille menus and also the large print menus. In, in quite a bit of the stores. Mm -hmm. I think we've come a long way. Yeah. And Tori, I want to say thank you, thank you, because yeah. Tori had to go to Hadley all the time to eat out there because of a braille menu. Now she can stay locally in the city. Thank you, Tori. It's been great going to restaurants and having them offer the braille mm -hmm. menus. I went to Siam Square a couple times and they know they just bring it over. It's been really great. And, yeah. and I've been, and I want to thank Patty for letting me be on with this commission for me, and she did a great job yeah. being on this. Well, I think that there's a lot to do, and I think it takes a lot of direction and time. Right, and I have to, I want to thank Ruth McGrath. She's yeah. been an excellent secretary yes. of the website, which is extremely important, extremely important. Oh, the website, I, I tried it with you guys by looking at the website uh -huh. and I just I, I know this is time to be positive but I just wanted to say <laughs> that, say that um, the website still lists the time of this meeting they're starting at five o'clock and the website is like oh, way out of date like the video the videos are not the last video they posted was from January well January there was no meeting in February or March and we and if if we don't, we don't automatically get those from 
Yeah, and Joins, it's just Joanne's in charge. And it's, it's also like, it also doesn't list the current committee members correctly. Like it says that Mike Nagy and Daniel Langer are still on. No, they're not. not. I know. I think like, you brought that to Joanne's it's like, you know, it's And just, Joanne's going to be gone. She's That website yeah. won't be. It's like, done. it's like way out of yeah, thank you. Some of that we knew, Tori, so thank you for yeah. mentioning it again. I don't root you guys. Yeah, but I, with no access, there isn't much I can do. Right, you, yeah, you, only uh, employees it, can have access. Yeah. Is the website navigable? Um, I'm able to, yeah, I'm able to navigate, but it's just mm -hmm. out-of-date information. Right. Yeah, we'll get it updated. Yeah. Joanne has a couple more days that she could do that. That would be awesome because, like, I like to be able to keep track of the seasons on the commission now and what's going on. I'm like, well, oh. thank you. You're one of our readers then. Yeah. Thank you. And, and how many years were you on the commission? I don't know. I think you had just skedaddled when, when Judy and I showed up. Right. I I think it's been, it was probably around that, maybe 8 to 10, that's quite a while. Yeah. How, how, how long have I been on like that? I don't know, you went to Canada, you left us for a while. <laughs> and then you came back. <laughs> you came back. So how many do you think? Three? No. Yeah, I'm not going to venture and guess because I'll be wrong. <laughs> But this, this, is about, this is about yeah. Patty yeah. being wonderful, and mm -hmm. you'll be really missed here, you know, at this commission at the Senior Center, for sure. And we'll all keep in touch. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to okay. come and see you. So well, I appreciate all your nice comments, and I've enjoyed working with both current and past commissioners. Yeah. 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 Yeah.